and welcome back to you got this and this is not just live on my show so if everybody's listening hi i hope you're doing wonderful and thank you for being um, a listener um, perhaps you were a listener from my previous show Vanessa's podcast who ended in december after over 300 episodes Oh, I mean, 300 episodes. I'm going a little too far here, but 130 episodes. So, which was a lot of fun, and it was uh, mainly uh, associated with the company Creative Arts 16, which is a non-profit company for the arts and uh, humanity and artists and writers. So, this podcast is uh, mainly a podcast attached to no company, just mainly my podcast, and it's going to be about about various things, uh, maybe about historical fact, about science project, maybe um, about some stories that, that other people uh, wanted to share, about laws of attraction, about uh, the quantum effect, uh, about the ripple effect, about um, space, about so many things about philosophy. Um, and um, a new man, uh living on earth in general, things like this. So um, so what I want to do today is that I want to play a great um, audiobook that I just ordered today. And that one is uh, based on chronic pain. So I know a lot of you out there have chronic pain and you're just sick and tired living with that pain. So, you know, you might hear oh yeah listen to hypnosis video and that's really gonna happen like yeah bullshit it's not gonna help but um i promise you uh when when you hear this one you're gonna get at least some inspiration that there could be some hope and maybe some hypnosis person out there can help you out so um greg beggs uh also wrote the books uh alcohol lie to me um and over maybe 12, 15 other books. Uh, he also has 15 audiobook, and they're all about hypnosis in some of his books. Uh, they're about confidence, they're about uh, regaining power, they're about uh, overcoming fears, uh, claustrophobia, agnobia, um, fear of stairs, fear of elevators, uh, all type of fears. So he has a specific hypnosis video for each and they usually about 45 minutes long so you can really make you pick between four to six bucks so it's not that much to invest into something that could actually help you and now if you um, uh, need help with addiction i will really um, suggest that you get that book alcohol light to me um, for me it did wonders uh, literally saved my mind from losing all hopes that it was possible to um, you know regain sanity after uh, after going through what you're going through through the withdrawal and and, um, and being completely isolated and uh, when you're trying to quit uh, and your body's addicted to alcohol so you struggle a lot and a lot of people out there are struggling a lot and they don't know where to go so i know when there's they always tell you, go there, go there, go, go try that place, uh, go try that local you know, chapter, go try that AA meeting, go try that online AA meeting, go, you know, go to, to see those Facebook groups. Huh? And, you know, book alone can help you. But if you go, um, if you go to his website and you start listening to, um, to some of his YouTube videos also and, uh, all of his advice, and he started listening to all the samples and all the free hypnosis uh, tips. You will feel a connection there. You can also reach him directly, which I did in the past. And there was not one time I did not get a wonderful feedback from him, and he never even charged me a thing. That's just how much he cares about seeing people getting better, getting healthier, you know, losing the weight that they need to lose, um, keeping the faith, having better life better thoughts, you know, stop struggling with their ego, uh, stop struggling with their mental struggle, all of this stuff, so I really suggest, so if there's anything um, that you can take on this episode is that, is that you should 
give it a shot uh, for your own you know well-being if you are in need of course if you're not then it's probably not going to do much but relax you and why not uh, <clears throat> yeah why not hypnosis and meditation are always great so I say his voice is wonderful, so he uh, really get transported when he listen to his voice. And so I'm gonna let you uh, be the judge of it. Exactly as requested. Before you listen to the hypnosis track, it is important that we ensure we fully understand what hypnosis is, or more importantly, what it is not. Hypnosis is not black magic, a party trick, nor a piece of theater. It is a naturally occurring process of the brain that has, unfortunately, attracted some seriously bad press over recent years. Some might say even O.J. Simpson had better press than hypnosis. Thankfully, for over 2,000 years before this, it was documented and practiced with a great deal of respect. How bizarre this long-studied and amazing action of the human mind has been essentially defamed by a man in a bar trying to convince girls to take their clothes off. You see, the traditional stage hypnotist is considered by most right-thinking hypnotherapists and psychologists as a blundering incompetent, dabbling in something they don't truly understand. If they did understand the amazing process that they're playing with, I would suggest that they would find something more productive to do with it than make a person believe that they're a little fluffy duck called Roger. A common misconception about hypnosis is that it is sleep. Although a hypnotized person appears to be sleeping, they are actually quite alert. Hypnosis is very difficult to describe as nobody actually knows what is going on inside the mind of a subject. What we do know is while in the trance state, the subject becomes very suggestible. A subject's attention while they're going into trance is narrowed down gradually. Many areas of normal communication are removed one by one, starting with sight. I will often ask you to close your eyes and concentrate. Other senses are then removed from the equation. Some people even lose complete feeling of their body. That might sound frightening. But it is accomplished in a slow, pleasant way, rather than the sudden turning off of a switch. You enter a world of hyper-relaxation, and at the same time, hyper-awareness. As you might expect, as you remove certain senses, the remaining ones become more acute to compensate. Often, people who have been under hypnosis will come around and claim, it didn't work. When you inquire as to why they believe hypnosis did not occur, they make statements such as, well, I could hear everything. I could hear the cars going past the window. This is all part of the misconception that hypnosis is sleep. And during trance, you are unconscious, when in actual fact, you are hyperconscious. I'm not telling you about hypnosis because I want you to take to the stage, but because I want you to understand the truly amazing power of the subconscious mind. A person in hypnosis is highly suggestible. The hypnotist has direct access to the person's subconscious without having to go through the conscious mind first. And this is how they can convince a six foot tall, 250 pound man that he is a light, gentle ballet dancer and then have him pirouette his way around the stage. Hypnosis is so natural that you do it dozens of times every day without even realizing it. Have you ever driven home at the end of your working day and arrived home with no memory of the journey. Hypnosis just paid you a visit. Your brain was using the opportunity of this familiar and fairly simple task to filter and file information in your brain. You may notice yourself at work, blankly staring at the computer screen in a deep, peaceful daydream. This happens due to the vast amount of information constantly entering your brain. Every few hours, your mind must pause just a little, to filter and file all the information that you've learned, placing it in the correct storage areas of the brain. In most of my self-help books and online courses, such as StopDrinkingExpert.com or PowerfullyConfident.com, I use hypnosis to accelerate and deepen the healing or learning process. I do this because I know that the conscious mind 
is a guard dog, the sort of animal the mailman must first distract before he opens the gate and creeps up the path to post the mail. After doing so, he sneaks back out, hopefully without being noticed. So far in this audiobook, I have been directly talking to your guard dog. You can choose to accept what I'm saying, or you can dismiss it. During hypnosis, you do not have that option. All suggestions are accepted without judgment, because the words are directed to the subconscious. What to expect? The next track of this audiobook is the hypnosis download. Don't lie there waiting for something magical to happen. Don't expect or demand anything. You will also need to be prepared to catch your ego trying to pull you out of the moment and judge what is going on. If your mind starts to wander, don't worry, it's fine and totally normal. If your mind wanders, just notice what has happened, smile and refocus on the now. Relax and let the music and my words drift over you. There is nothing you can do wrong. Free yourself of that concern and let go of all expectations. Welcome to this hypnosis download. One so by now you probably um, have a little idea of what um, you will experience if you give it a shot. So um, if uh, any of you is interested, they can send me a message. I'm going to write down the email um, along with this uh, episode. And also, I'm inviting anyone who has uh, an historical fact, uh, has something interesting to share, uh, who uh, wants to share something about you know, life, or, um, life evolution, uh, la couche d'ozone, uh, um, <laughs> uh, anything who has happened this last year, uh, anything you know, uh, related to science or nature or space uh, would be uh, preferred. So I'm inviting you to um, reach out and we will um, uh, have a nice chat and we will uh, have you on this podcast. So also, um, I, uh, I hope I'm going to take a few seconds to meditate today, to rest, relax, to um, let go of all the wandering thoughts and the, the stress uh, thoughts. And um, and then you're going to put uh, things that matter in priority order. And then you're going to stop exhausting yourself of stressing over nothing. So... As Greg Bex was mentioning, if you if you start to let your ego start taking over and judge and question everything, then um, uh, slap him down, get rid of him, and just enjoy uh, resting your mind and just relaxing. And that's it. With no outside um, thoughts uh, of any kind. So on that thought, I'm going to say goodbye and I'll be back for a new episode on You Got This. Also, you can see my You Got This um, video episode on on uh, my YouTube channel, Super Candle Fully. Also, you can find me under Vanessa Bush. So uh, please subscribe, let me know when you heard this episode and then I will give you one on my um hour-long uh, Loops of Attraction audio, which is really good. So you just let me know, uh, and then just find me on YouTube, and I hope I see you soon. All right, see you next time.